Hello and welcome to Luminar Coffee Break. I'm Angela Andrew and today we're going to be talking about how to load and browse your purchased Luminar AI template collections. Let me jump to sharing my screen and we will get started. So I have up on the screen a beautiful image. This is from Ev Jabotarov. He's one of our executives and it's a really gorgeous image that I believe is captured in Japan. Here's the before. And then here's the after. This is a very simple edit that I made using one of the templates from one of our purchase template collections. So let me step back a little bit in the process and I'll show you where you can find these template collections, how to download and install them, and then we'll put it to use on this image. So I'm gonna jump over to my browser and I'm on the Skyland website. There's two main ways that you can get template collections from Skyland. One is via our marketplace and the other is via your Luminar X membership. So if I go into Marketplace and I click on Templates, let's go ahead and see, these are all the different packages that are available here. Now the icons that are on these packages are gonna tell you what program they're for. You see that these are all, like we have this free one here, these are for Luminar 3, and here's one for Luminar 3, so we've got quite a few. And if you go up to the top and you look at the signature templates, these are some of our really beautiful, awesome, newer ones. And you can see that this is for Luminar 4. There's an option for Luminar AI. And if you're a Luminar X member, you will get this with your Luminar X membership. It'll be one of your monthly deliveries. You're not going to necessarily get it right when you join, but it will be in one of your monthly deliveries. So if that interests you, definitely check out Luminar X because it's a great way to get some of these template collections and it's a really nice value. You get a lot for your money. Uh, each of these template collections, you know, they range in price, like $29, $19. And that really varies based on how many um, templates are in those collections, who made them, and so forth. I want to take a moment and say hello to Robert, Jerry, Russell, Joseph. So glad you're all able to join me today. Uh, so I mentioned also the Luminar X membership. I'm going to go over to my account and go to the Luminar X membership page. Now, this is where I can download all of the assets that have already been delivered to me. And I have here, there's the Infinite Galaxies, these are some skies, we have Water Vacation, which I've already downloaded. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit to see, here's all of my template collections, I can click on View All, and these will be all of the templates that have been part of my deliveries so far. Today I wanna to download Moody Dramatic Landscapes because I haven't grabbed that one yet. So I'll click the Download button and that's going to spin up and pop that into my downloads folder here in just a moment. Give that just a sec. All right, there we go. And now I'm going to click over to my finder and let me close up a couple of these windows here just to make things a little cleaner. My goodness, I have too many windows open. All right, so let's do a new window and go to my downloads folder. So right here, Moody Dramatic Landscapes, that's the folder that downloaded. If you get this as a zip file, all you need to do is if you're on Mac, you double click click the zip file to expand it. If you're on Windows, you right click, choose expand or extract, and that will extract the file for you. Inside this folder, you see we have two more files. We have the Moody Dramatic Landscapes.ltc. LTC stands for Luminar Template Collection. We also have another zip file here with MP Loom Pack. Those are gonna be the looks for Luminar 4. If you have Luminar 4 installed, go ahead and unzip that file as well. If you're just going for the Luminar AI templates, all you need is this LTC file. The download gives you both, but if you are only using Luminar AI, all you need is that LTC file. If you're on a Mac, you can go ahead and double click on this file and it will automatically load it into Luminar AI for you. There's also a couple of options from within the software, which I'll show you right now. Let's go ahead and click back over to Luminar AI. The first is gonna be to go to the Luminar AI menu, excuse me, the file menu, and choose Add Luminar AI Template Collection. Click on that, and then it'll pull up your file system. I'll go to my Downloads folder. There's my Moody Dramatic Landscapes, and there's that LTC folder, and I can go ahead and choose Open. That will install the Templates Pack in Luminar AI. If you're already in the Templates tab, there's a couple of different places that you can go to add templates here as well. If you're on the main panel here, on purchase, there's the button here to add. That's gonna also bring up that file browser. I'm gonna cancel that since we already installed those. And if you click into purchased, up here at the top, here's another button to add. Exact same, does the exact same thing as the other two ways, just a different way to get there. Hopefully by putting it in a few different places, it makes it easy to find. 
I'm going to cancel that for now. And now we have that template collection installed and we can go ahead and work on this image. Now, once you've installed a template collection, you can find them in a couple of different places. The first is going to be in for this photo. When you're going through these um, template packs here at the top, these are going to be the ones that the AI has looked at your image, analyze its contents, and it thinks that these template collections might be a good fit for your image, for your subject matter. And so this is going to include both uh, pre-built-in uh, uh, templates that come with Luminar AI, as well as your purchased ones. So you can see there's, so Urban Style is a built-in one. Uh, Classic Filters, I believe that's built in. Concrete Jungle is a purchase collection. So that's where you're going to start to see those. If you go down to the button here and click Purchased, this is going to be every single purchase collection that you have. And you can see that I have quite a few installed because I have Luminar X and also because I work for Skylum, I have access to all of the different template collections that are available. So I've gone through it and installed most of them because they're pretty awesome. Um, let me go ahead and scroll back here. I'm going to go back to For This Photo and let's play with this image a little bit. I'm gonna right click on the image, go to adjustments and revert this to the original. And you can see that wasn't a huge change that we made. It just made it pop a little bit more. So as I scroll through the for this photo, I'm gonna choose concrete jungle. And let's see here, which one did I like? I liked city forest. And you can see that just gives it a really nice pop. It adds a little bit of detail, a little bit of color, and overall makes the image more interesting. Now there's just a couple of things that I'll do to improve this. I'll click over to the edit tab and go back to my tools here. Maybe bring up my adjust AI a little bit more and add some sky enhancer just to bring out the details in the sky. We can also go into our structure and maybe add a little bit more structure for some detail, that mid-tone contrast and clarity. The last thing I wanna do is there are a lot of blocked up shadows underneath the eaves of this pagoda. So what I'm gonna do is go down to Dodge and Burn, and this is gonna allow me to quickly and easily lighten some of those areas. So I'm gonna choose Lighten. I'll adjust my brush size. Once I'm on the image, I can use the bracket keys to do that so I can see exactly what I'm trying to get. Um, I'm gonna keep the brush softness at 100. I'm gonna pull the strength down pretty low. I like to do this where I can make multiple brush strokes and kind of build up the effect and layer it on there as opposed to one really thick brush stroke. It makes for a more natural looking blend. So you really can't tell that you've made these brush strokes. So I like to keep that strength low and we'll keep the overall amount at 100 until we're done and then we can back it off if we need to. So I'll start with my brush small. I'll make that a little smaller with the left bracket key and just start painting in a little bit of that lightning over and over and over in those areas just to bring out some of the detail under the eaves. And I'll go through and do this on every single level just a few times bring out some of that detail. There we go, that's looking pretty good. A few more brush strokes, we'll be there. A little bit in there, a little bit more, and maybe a little right in there. So let me go ahead and turn that off and then back on again. And you can see it's a really subtle change, but it does make a difference in how the overall image is viewed. So let's now take a look at our before and after. There's the before and there's the after. I hope that was useful to you. It shows you where to find your templates, how to use those purchase templates, how to get them onto your computer, how to get them into Luminar AI. Those are questions we get quite a lot because we have a lot of those template collections available and people get really excited and wanna get them installed and use them. So hopefully that gets you started. Um, this edit was really easy to do because I made use of those templates. And you don't have to use the purchase ones, you can use the ones that are built in, but they provide a really great starting point for your editing and can also provide a tremendous amount of inspiration. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today. Let me just take a quick look here at the comments and make sure that everybody is taken care of, all the questions are done. Let's see here, there's a question, whenever I'm doing cloning on the photo, it goes back to the original from uh, form in Luminar AI. If I do exposure, it wants to clone it, but I can't do, please fix. So that is actually by uh, design. When you go into the clone tool, it is going to take it back to the original image. So let me go ahead and load this. You'll notice all of the adjustments that I made just disappeared. And this is because Luminar AI does not work with layers. In earlier versions of Luminar, uh, so like Luminar 4, Luminar 3, 
when you would invoke the clone tool, it would actually make a new stamped layer. So once you did that, all of your previous edits were then unaccessible. With this, you're able to go in and clone out things that you don't want. And then once you are done in that tool, those tool, everything, all of your other adjustments will be reinstated. If you want to work on the image as it is, and you don't want to see that clone happen, um, what you can do, or don't we don't want it to revert back to the original, what you can do is export a copy. So let me click out of that. From here, I would go right click, export, take out, make, create a high resolution JPEG or a TIFF, bring that back into Luminar AI, and then do that cloning and stamping. And that way you'll be able to see all of those changes you've made while you're using the clone and stamp tool. I know it's, it's not the easiest of workarounds, but it should get the job done. But like I said, um, the way that the clone tool works that is by design, because it doesn't create a new layer, um, it does take it back to your original unedited photo. So hopefully that helps. Um, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and wish you guys all a wonderful day. Um, Vanelli will be with you tomorrow and we will see you again next week as well. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.